In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a pop-up uh, to allow me to edit these contacts without leaving this page. So uh, I've got a repeating group here that lists through uh, contacts in my database and uh, I've just put in an edit icon on the far right. Uh, so let's bring in a pop-up element and I'm going to make this a column and I'm going to give it some padding. And add in a header. And uh, the field, let's just focus on editing the name. Um, so I'm going to check uh, in my uh, contacts. Uh, okay, I've just got one name field rather than a, a first name and a last name. Um, so I'm going to put in an input and uh, I'm using the new responsive engine here, so I'm going to set it as 100%. Uh, I'm also going to add in some spacing here between each element. Um, and so the placeholder, this is uh, name. Um, and uh, let's add in a save button as well. So you could, of course, add in as many different fields as you like. And then let's get rid of the min height, so it ties it all up. And uh, right, let's get some workflows in motion. Oh, before we do that, uh, because I want to be able to tell this pop-up the type of data that I'm editing. So I set it as type contact. And so that means that I can then go and create a workflow of this button, which will show the pop-up. Uh, and then I need to tell it, and it candidly recommends the next step, I need to display data in that pop-up. And that is going to be current group's contact, uh, because that's referring to the group that the icon is in, the current group. Um, so let's check that that works. Okay. Now, I, I can't tell that it's actually working or not, because uh, I've not got any data Filling, uh, being filled into this field. So ideally, I want this field to contain existing data. Um, so uh, this is one way of going about creating a pop-up to edit data. Um, the other way to go about it, um, uh, this way we'll use a save button. The other way to go about it will be to use auto binding. So watch out for another video on that. But for now, we're going to use the save button. So if I go back onto uh, my pop-up, uh, I then need to give my input name initial content. And because I've said that the, uh, the parent, which is the pop-up, is of type contact, and I filled in that contact, I can refer to it here as name. I can then even uh, tick that this should not be empty. And that's when I now create a workflow, make changes to a thing, I can make changes to, uh, th this is the same as selecting here, they're both the same location. And then name. And uh, I find my input field, brilliant. And then uh, this is the step that's easiest to forget. I want to hide my pop-up when I click the save button. Okay, so now it's filled in. And you can see that it's updated and it's saved. So there is another way to go about this. As I mentioned a moment ago, that would be to use auto binding. And uh, I'm going to stop that vid this video where I am now. I'm going to go and record another one that shows you how to use auto binding to get the same result.